I'm a former visa officer and everyone wants to know what are the questions that the visa officer will ask me at my visa interview. Let's think about it in two ways. One, you can always expect that they will ask you some questions. Maybe just one, two, or three questions, but they're going to ask you something. Now, the exact questions that they're going to ask you, you'll never know. I don't know, they don't know, you don't know. We do not know what the exact questions are that they're going to ask you. They look at your application, they look at your DS-160, depending on the country that you're from, the conditions there, the economics, uh, what you're going to be studying, what your purpose of travel is, all these factors will then go into their decisions about what questions they want to ask you in order to feel more confident that they know whether or not they should issue you a visa or not. Okay. Now the first question you can usually assume if you've never had a visa interview before, or if you don't have anything complicated in your visa history, the first question is going to be rather generic. What's your purpose of travel to the U.S.? Why do you want to go to the U.S.? What are you going to do in the U.S.? Where are you going in the U.S.? What are you going to study in the U.S.? What school are you going to in the U.S.? These are all very generic questions that are just a way for the visa officer to start the interview, start getting information from you, start understanding your situation. Now, in response to those questions, what should you do? Should you just answer the question very specifically and very abruptly with a single word or a single phrase to give them the data point that they've just asked for? Probably not. In most cases, you would do much better giving them a little bit of a story that answers the question for them. They ask you, what are you going to study? Don't just reply with engineering. Reply with what you're going to study and where, what this is going to do for you, how you came to this decision, whatever the highlights of your case may be, it's, it's a conversation. You're having a conversation with the visa officer. The visa officer wants to get a feeling from you about what your plans are. Are you a real student? Did you go through a real student's journey to get to where you are today applying for a student visa? Only then when they feel that you're legitimate and it's the feeling, right? It's not having certain pieces of data and then they can issue. No, it's the feeling that you are a legitimate student that you do intend to go to the US, you can pay for it, and after your studies, you're going to return to your home country. Only after that will the visa officer feel confident enough to issue you your visa. Now, what other questions could they ask you? They may ask you questions about your finances, how you're going to pay for your trip, how you're going to pay for your studies. They may ask you about your job in your home country, your education level, uh, your contacts in the US, who you know there. All of these questions, don't have right or wrong answers. These are just questions to try to get you to explain your situation, to open up the door and show the visa officer what your life is like, what ties you have to your home country, these ties, these elusive ties that they're always talking about. What, what these ties are are just reasons for you to return to your home country. Economic, professional, familial. They could be anything. Just the reasons why your life plan involves going back to your home country. So what I want you to do is change your thinking about preparing for the questions you're going to be asked in the interview. You should instead know what your story is, what the core of it is, what are the highlights of your situation, and know what those are and what you want the visa officer to know. More like a job interview. What are your main qualifications that you want this person on the other side of the window to know about you? And then in answering their questions, get that information across to them. Tell them about what your finances are, not just my father is a businessman. No. Tell them what your father's business is. What's the scope of it? What's the size of it? How much revenue? How much income? How long has it been around? Is it famous? Th these are the kinds of things that are going to make them know more details about your case. So you go in knowing, okay, I have a goal, not just how I'm going to answer questions. I have a goal to make the visa officer feel a certain way about me and my situation here in my country to make them feel confident that they can trust me, that they can trust I'm going to leave the US and come back to my home country after my trip to the US. That's how I want you to think about answering questions in the visa interview. Now, here at the end, I do wanna say, sometimes you may have a complicated visa history. You may have a complicated situation where you know this is the hard, the hard part of my visa interview. This is the sticking point, which is causing visa officers to refuse my visa. In that case, yes, you need to prepare exactly how you want to address that issue. 
Maybe it's a, a long stay the last time that you were in the US. Maybe it's a relative who's in the US and may have gone to the US um, in, an, in an informal way, okay? Whatever it is, if you know that there's a sticking point, that is something you should prepare about how to talk about. Not just giving the data, but also telling the entire narrative so the visa officer understands everything. The visa officers have to feel like they understand everything before they can feel confident enough that issuing your visa is the right decision. All right, good luck. Good luck. Hold that mentality when you go into the visa interview and that is how you're going to get your visa issued.